Hello Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I'm going to take a look at your situation with you and your person in mind. Remember that this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate for everybody. If you're interested in a personal reading much like this, I will leave all of that information in the description box below. Okay. So I'm seeing that um, there's someone here who's really serious about you, like wedding rings, union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise here is what I see. So I'm getting that this person is very serious about something long term, serious about marriage, um, ha having something um, lasting wanting a lasting connection feeling like you are their soulmate and i see that it has kind of scared you a little bit here we have the runner in your energy runner in a codependent relationship fear of intimacy listening to the ego so you are really uh not on this person's vibe right now when it comes to when it comes to having a serious relationship at this point in time, it's just not um, it's just not something that I see you're ready for right now. So I'm seeing that in the past there's been some struggle. There's been um, a struggle trying to maintain stability, trying to um, stay optimistic and looking forward optimistic about relationships um in general or even work situations so there could have been a struggle before when it comes to finances here with that five of discs so i see that somebody has tried to make better choices in love and in life and um but it's been a struggle trying to be happier and trying to uh, stay positive in all of this so somebody is trying to get to wards a long-term stable connection here with this ten of discs so I'm seeing um, I'm seeing that your person this person really thinks about you this person wants to move in with you or they want you to move in with them in the future or they're just thinking about the long term here they want you in the long haul they want you to be with them and they want stability here they want a commitment this person is serious about a commitment when it comes to you um and it kind of has a just a little cause some some fears about this about someone being so serious and I see that you're not totally um, ready for this because you have recently went through some changes that have caused struggle in your life and I pretty much see that I'm seeing that you're really you've been really unsure about this person um, somebody has been holding in some secrets about a struggle before and hasn't totally opened up about it and I see that I see that you've been trying to listen to your intuition here before moving forward trying to figure out um, why you feel the way you do or why you're just not at the level that this person is here so I, I see that you're wanting to be into a position that's more stable, more secure, um, but you're having a, a struggle doing that. So let's take a look here about your person because they feel like rejected. So this person, they want to be in a relationship with you. They have love for you. This person has a lot of unconditional love for you, eternal love for you. They feel a very soul connection here and they feel like you're not you're not wanting their love. You 
do not want what they have to offer here and they feel like they're hanging in suspense here because they made an offer they made a proposal and they haven't been they haven't gotten the response or the response that they've been wanting and i see that they're at this point feeling like it's either all or nothing either we're in or we're out either we do this full on or we just end it now so I see your person um, thinking about you a lot um, I see them I see that this person really wants to they they really do feel like the the ball is in your court here moving forward or trying to move things forward so they feel like the love isn't reciprocal you don't feel the same way as they do and they're pretty much they're waiting on you here um but you really don't know i see that you're you really don't know whether or not you're ready for this if you're ready for some you're not you you don't know if you're ready for a relationship but at the same time you're not ready for things to come to an end here because it would still end up hurting you as well you would still feel the pain and um separation so i see that there's a decision that you're trying to make here you're trying to make a decision that that you I see you you're you don't want to regret it but you're looking at things from all different perspectives you're looking at the positives and you're also looking at the negatives to this so you're trying to weigh out your pros and cons here about what happens if things come to an end how will that affect me and then what happens like if I say yes if I say yes to a relationship or yes to um this commitment because you're you're allowing for some of you you're allowing the the cons to overpower the positives here um and i see that i'm saying that for some of you you may just put an end to this with the grim reaper here the relationship is over no second chances grow and transform your life so i see that things are now starting to take a turn there's a turn of events coming in here i see that there is a message coming in that has to do with a new start a new beginning and wanting to move things forward so i see that i see that you have pulled back your energy but there's a message that is coming in um very very soon that is coming in very very uh, passionate and there is a lot of fire and energy and enthusiasm charisma that is coming in here so i see that there is communication that is going to literally change everything and for some of you you may have a little bit of a temper possibly and you may act on your temper you may end things based on your temper but in your outcome we have the chariot here with the coffin uh, so it it looks like to me that this person isn't the one or your intuition is telling you like they're not the one for you and i see that you're you are now things are now taking a turn of events here i'm seeing that you have thought about things um a lot you have looked at every single outcome here what could happen if this happens what happens if i say this you have looked at every single outcome here about moving things forward and i'm seeing that for some of you you have decided that 
you are not ready to move things forward into a more serious direction because there's still a lot of things, a lot of things that need to change first before you can say yes or before you can um before you can open up your heart and 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 give love here so i see that you are moving into a different direction so i'm going to get some details for you guys the signs that i'm seeing is Cancer energy, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Virgo, Capricorn, So it could have been a struggle seeing each other. There could be distance. Maybe you met this person while traveling. Um, I see that this person may want children with you and it has scared you. You're not, um, you're, you don't know if that's what you want or this person could have children. Somebody could have children here. Um, I see that a lot of people are wanting to date you and pursue you. And it's because you're pl you're playing hard to get, or you're just hard to get in general. Um, but people find that very attractive. And I see you freeing yourself. I see you needing some space. I see space being given. Um, and I see that there could be other people's opinions here, family opinions that are kind of causing. Um, stagnation in this situation or other people that have gotten into the picture but I see that down the line though this could possibly like more and more down the line it could possibly turn out to be um you could possibly have a family with this person cancer energy here so I'm going to get a few more cards Before I close off this reading for you guys. Oh, we got a card already. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So I really see that you are... You're, list, you're listening to your higher self here. Um, about... Whether or not this is the person for you, um, on the flip side, for some of you, you're allowing your your ego or your fears to um, to overpower what's true, and I see that it's because you were put in a situation before where you had to learn how to love yourself. Um, you had to learn how uh, to do things differently so that you don't get uh, so that you don't get into a toxic relationship or so that you're not over giving and not receiving at the same time. But this person feels like you are their soulmate. You are the one. And I see you letting go of control issues. You're just allowing things to unfold naturally or this could be advice, let go of control issues, allow the situation to just unfold naturally here. Because with the Wheel of Fortune, when this wheel is going to turn, it's going to turn regardless. This is destiny stepping in here in order for things to just unfold more naturally. Uh, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So I actually see that there is going to be more effort here um, a new start after an ending for some of you. So this is what I'm getting. If you like this reading, please come and like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be updated for future videos. Let me know if it resonated and I hope that you found some guidance or clarity in your situation and thank you for watching. Bye.